What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English beat. I'm Katia. Today's lesson is going to be short and optimistic. We're going to look at five super positive phrases that I'm sure will cheer you up and give some motivation. Are you ready to see the glass half full? If so, let's kick off. So the first super positive phrase on my list today is I'll cross that bridge when I come to it or we can also say we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So I'm sure you agree that we get caught up in the future or in the past so often that rarely are we living in the present. We tend to worry about things that may happen in the future. So whenever you are apprehensive about the future, remember this phrase. It says that we shouldn't worry about a possible problem now, but deal with it when or if it happens. More often than not, we worry about things that don't happen in the end. An example sentence, what if we lose a lot of clients and can't make ends meet? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. What if we lose a lot of clients and can't make ends meet? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now let's move on to our second positive phrase, which is when the going gets tough, the tough get going. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. I like this phrase so much because it gives me strength when I go through difficult moments. It says that when there are problems and setbacks, strong people don't give up and work hard in order to overcome them. An example sentence, hard lessons are there to teach you that when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Hard lessons are there to teach you that when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Let's continue. Number three, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. This phrase is great for those times when you're going through a rough patch and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. So whenever that happens, you should tell yourself the best is yet to come, which means that the future holds something better for you, even if you can't see or believe it now. Our phrase number four it takes both rain and sunshine to make a rainbow. It takes both rain and sunshine to make a rainbow. It's impossible to be happy all the time. And this phrase is used when people have to face a tough situation. And after having gone through some bad days, we'll appreciate good moments even more. And last but not least, every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. Every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. I like this phrase so much because I think that we can always find something positive around us and something good even in a bad situation. And I reckon we should be grateful for little things we have in our everyday life that we often take for granted. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of lesson and it brought you some positivity and motivation 
to go on despite difficulties and obstacles. Please let me know in the comments below which of the phrases that we have learned today is your favorite. And guys, if you enjoyed this positive lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram and do my daily quiz. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!